Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to be a nation of nation states cooperating, not in bed with a load of them. Next week, when they've gone up, I think, I think it's going to be some concern among the Brexiteers about. So what we now know for near certain is that Britain won't be leaving on this date of 29th of March that everyone expected Britain to be leaving the European Union. There's going to be an extension to the process at least probably till the 30th of June and that depends how long, it, how long the extension lasts for depends on whether MPs pass Theresa May's deal or reject it another time. So that's the big debate going on in the UK here. So MPs will be voting again on Theresa May's deal and it won't have changed at all. The whole withdrawal agreement, the whole future declaration will be exactly the same. The only difference will be time. MPs will now know what they can't do and what they can do. They'll know that the pressure's on, they have no other alternative but apart from a long extension but to pass this deal. So the main problem Theresa May's had is a whole load of her MPs that were very pro-Brexit that said this version of Brexit wasn't hard enough, wasn't Brexit enough. They're now going to be faced with a very clear choice of her deal or a very, very long extension, potentially Brexit being kicked into the long grass. And that's the choice now facing a whole load of MPs in, in this place. Yeah, so as a result of the votes tonight, Theresa May will be very happy. It sets up a very clear choice for her. There was the, the other alternative tonight was for there to be an attempt by the legislature, the House of Commons, to take control of Brexit, take back control from the executive. And that's not happened tonight. By two votes, the legislature were unable to say, let's try and vote on different options to Theresa May's deal. We don't like her deal, but we might like something else. They haven't done that. The choice is now remains is Theresa May's deal or big question mark. Well, tonight the, the, the idea of a second referendum was roundly rejected because MPs are so worried about the fact that, about trying to overturn this referendum result from 2016. And a lot of the people that are campaigning for a referendum said, let's not do it now. They think that the only chance of getting a referendum is when all other options have gone off the table and have died. Then MPs might reach for the second vote. Another element that Theresa May will be saying is, if, she, if you don't pass my deal, we're going to have to fight these European elections. And, and a lot of MPs, particularly in her Conservative Party, are worried about fighting these, about fighting these European elections because they're worried about one man, Nigel Farage, coming back into those European elections and cutting their vote in half. So all those pro-Brexit uh, MP, all those pro-Brexit people in the country would vote for a proper Brexit party if, the, if, the, if, the, if, it, if Brexit's delayed. And that's the big issue for a lot of Conservative MPs is this fear of uh, a pro-Brexit party coming up and taking all their votes. If Theresa May's vote fails, I think it's likely that the European Union are going to suggest a pretty long extension. Donald Tusk has come out and said, OK, guys, if you, if you don't have a deal, we're going to give you a long, long extension of Article 50 to sort this out. So that's become clearer in the last few days. The EU27 would all have to agree, and they're not all united, but because they're not united, they'll take the lead from Donald Tusk, who's saying a longer extension is the only route forward if Britain doesn't have a deal.